First of all, I'd like to say I recognize our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Savior of our forefathers and for us today. I would like to recognize this great pastor, this great friend from Zion Amen. and the presiding overseer. It's an honor to be in the presence of God's people. I want to also thank this congregation and those who've made our stay pleasant as it's been. I want to give special uh, honor to the Shannon family and to Brother Shannon for thinking enough to allow us to have a moment to share with your family and reflect in this great celebration of your mother's home. I'd like to say to the Shannon family, you have nothing to hold your heads down about. But you need to look to the hills from which cometh your help and your strength. I wish I had time. You know, preachers, we need a lot of time, so y'all gotta consider that. I wish I had time to tell the story about Brother Shannon, our vice on the state of Virginia. And we have national board members in Virginia who would have a desire to be here. And we have come a long way to be where we are today. So Brother Shannon, I look at you as Timothy look, uh, was, was looked at by Paul, Apostle Paul, and he talked about uh, the memory uh, of, of the great faith that was in his, in the mothers. And you have daughter and family. Now that mother is she's a grandmother and, and a mother. And so Apostle Paul reminds him, says, stir up the faith that was in those mothers. You would not have made an impact on the state of Virginia and on the world that you've made in freedom, justice, and quality and for music if it hadn't been for that spirit that was in your mother. And I said to you and your family, remember, stir up that spirit which was first dwelt in that mother. And that's what God wants you to do. That's what your mother wants you to do. I, I rode with her in the limousine. I came every year to Newport News. And I was set with his mother. I always wondered, I said, why is Shannon always put me close to his mother? <laughs> and so I was set there and talked to her. But one day, and as, as I call a remembrance of her that I want to leave with you, one day we were sitting on the stand. And I always looked at your mother's eyes. There's something about her looking at your mother's eyes. She was a caring mother for her son. And Brother Shannon worked herself to, into a frenzy. His loving wife. She was always quiet, all of them looking at you. You just working yourself, and she one day looked at me and she said, I'm concerned about my son. I said, yeah, he's hard work. So we discussed and we talked and got in a conversation about bread, about making uh, what they used to call at that time. Uh, you take the old bread, some of y'all know about it, it's called bread pudding. And then, and his mother got in a discussion about old days, and we started talking about this bread pudding. And she broke down the ingredients <laughs> of how to make it to me. And I said, I, I remember my mother made bread pudding. I said, I don't get it in that now. And she told me all the ingredients, and she even told me what to put in it. And so I call that to my memory because I want to tell you just the way, same way Apostle Paul remembered, was called as remembrance about that spirit that was in the grandmother and the spirit that was in the mother is in all of you today. She's still alive. Mm -hmm. And how I know is because she knew about bread. And there's a bread that she knew about. It's called life. the living bread. Yeah. She said, I am the living bread. And when Israel had to march through the wilderness like you've done all the state and work in the, in, the, in, the, in the United States, we had the march on the state. Bread fell from heaven to revive them. And that bread, that spirit is in your mother. Stir it up. Because she, I feel she ate that bread and said, Whoever eat this bread shall never die. She's alive. So look up and hold up your head. 
Stand up today. Give your mother a break because you will not be with you on today. God bless you.